Hello, my name is Linda. In this video, I'm talking about the book Jack O Letters, written by Malky Abov. Focus question: How did the tradition of carrying Jack O Letters begin, and how have Jack O Letters changed over time? What is a Jack O Lantern? Carved pumpkins are called Jack O Lanterns. Jack O Lanterns are popular decorations around Halloween. Simple Jack O Lanterns are carved with spooky face or a toothy grin. People start carving pumpkins more than a hundred years ago. Stories say the Jack O' Lantern's tradition began in Ireland before that, too. People in Ireland craft toughness or potatoes instead. How did the Jack O' Lantern tradition begin? A common fable from the 19th century may answer this question. A fable tells the story of a man named Stingy Jack. He was cheap and liked to play straight on everyone. When he died, he was cursed to walk in the darkness forever. He carved a turnip and turned the light inside to show him the way. People in Ireland called his ghost Jack of Lantern and then Jack of Lantern. Modern Jack O' Lanterns, a stingy Jack tradition, later became a part of a night called a Hallow's Eve. All over Europe, people lit huge fires and wore custom to keep away ghosts. In Ireland, people carved scary face, or turnips and potatoes, and placed lights inside. Soon, others start to follow this tradition in Scotland and in England. The English used beads for the Jack O' Lanterns. All Hallows Eve later became known as Halloween. People from these countries threw the Jack O' Lantern tradition to the United States. They soon found the pumpkin work well as Jack O' Lanterns. By the 1920s, pumpkin carving became popular across America. Today, carving Jack O' Lanterns is an important part of Halloween. Every autumn, people visit a pumpkin patch or farm to pick the perfect pumpkin. About 1.5 billion pounds, more than 680 million kilograms of pumpkins are grown in the United States each year. Covering Jack O' Lanterns, pumpkins that are firm and smooth work well for Jack O' Lanterns. If the pumpkins stood to one side, the lights inside might fall over. Some people buy carving kits, which include the tools and design to make a great jack o' lanterns. Other crave without any help from patterns. The first step in carving a pumpkin is to cut the hole in the top to make the lid. Always have a parent help out while carrying with a knife. Next, the inside flesh and the seeds can be spilled out until the pumpkin is empty. Many people roast the seed for a snack. Pe others make tasty pies, peas, bread or soup with the pumpkin flesh. The next step is to draw a design on the pumpkin. Then it's time to crave. People can crave face, animals or message. They can chase out design or even paint to decorate the pumpkin. After the pumpkin is craved, a candle or other light can be placed inside. Finally, the pumpkin lid goes back on top. Jack O' Lantern Events Many cities put on special events to show off their craved 
pumpkins in Hilson Valley, New York. A thousand of Jack's art lanes make a big display. The festive event is complete with sake sounds and music. Pumpkins lie in lie side by side to form big snakes and dinosaurs. Visitors can walk through a domain of pumpkins or craved with tinky star. A huge display in Los Angeles, California, present pumpkins, cars, and dinosaur and pumpkin carvings of famous people. People can watch the artists crave the pumpkins at this event. Giant Jack O Lanterns. An artist craves one of the largest Jack O Lanterns ever recorded. It weighed more than 1,800 pounds, 816 kilograms. The record breaking pumpkins was as heavy as cow. The artist beat his own Guinness World Record for her largest Jack O' Lantern, which he had earned five years earlier. Recently, a town in New Hampshire broke a world record for the most lit Jack O' Lanterns on display. The town had 30,000 Jack O' Lanterns lit at once. Halloween under the sea. Carved pumpkins are even displayed underwater. Some aquarium workers put carved pumpkins in large ocean tanks each autumn. No one knows what the fish think, but visitors enjoy the festival sight. The tradition continues. Carving pumpkins into a jack o' lanterns is a fun activity for people of all age. Pumpkins are, can be craved with the smoky face or the tailed art. They can even be used the, as part of the big display. However, people people crave them. Jack o' lanterns are a sure sign that Halloween is around the corner. What kind of Jack O' Lantern would you make? Connection Writing in art well, How would you crave your Jack O' Lantern for Halloween? Draw a picture of your design and write about it. Social studies Research other countries' Halloween traditions. Use the Van de Graan to compare your country's Halloween traditions with the traditions of the other country. The end. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.